Hi, this is Diana from Second Half Dreams, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add page numbers to the bottom of your pages. After I have all of the pages designed and laid out in the YouTube video logbook, I'm going to be changing this dedication page to a table of contents page. But of course, before I can do that, I do need to get page numbers on the bottoms of my pages. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to add the page numbers. So let's get started by going back to the YouTube video logbook. I'm going to place page numbers on the bottom of this my channel page, my note pages, and my future pages. So I'm going to start with this notes page first. So I'm just going to select pages and then select my right side note page. And then I want to see my margin, so I'll press W. And then the next step is to just draw a tiny text box below my um, bottom margin. And this text box will hold my page number. To get the page number inside the box, just go up here to type, insert special character, markers, current page number. And that places a letter A inside the box. And the A corresponds to master page A. But if I go down here to the actual note page that will print, um, the letter A turned into the page number. So here I have page 7, page 9, page 11. So what's cool is that InDesign puts in the number for me, so I don't have to manually type in every single individual number. And then now moving on, my next step is I want to um, scoot this number 11 over so it's lined up to the right side of the page lines. So to do that, I just need to go back to that master page. And then I'm going to select the text box and then highlight the letter A. And then go up here and select the Align Right button. So um, the A just got aligned to the right side of, of the text box. And while I have that A highlighted, I'm also going to change the font to Myriad Pro. So now if I go back down to um, the pages, the seven has moved over. So my next step is to get a page number on the left page. So to do that, I'm going back up to the note pages. And instead of drawing a text box, I'm just going to um, copy and paste this text box over because it already has my fonts and the right size and everything. And I'm kind of eyeballing this because I didn't have my margins on, but I have all the green lines correct, so I think I'm good. And then I just want to scoot this A over to the left side, so it's aligned to the left side of the box. So I'm just going to press T and highlight it, and then press the align left. So now it's lined up to the left. And let me just check my margins. Yeah, everything looks good. Let me just go down here. And so now I have page eight and page nine. Next, I want to add page numbers to the channel questions. So I'm going to double click on that, set my margins. And actually, I'm going to copy and paste again. So let me, um, this time I'm going to select both text boxes and then copy, go to the channels questions master page, press paste, and then grab the two text boxes and put them down below the margin. And so this time, instead of A's, I have B's because now these page margins or page numbers are connected to master page B. But then when I go back down here to the pages, I have page number five. There's no page number four showing here, and that's because page number four is not um, connected to any master pages. So if I did want that page number four, I would just um, do apply master channel questions. And now that four shows up. Whether you should have a page number on this blank page or not, I'm really not sure. I'll have to look that up. But if you did want one, that's how you would do it. Before I finish this video, there's just one more thing I wanted to point out. So let me press um, W again to get the page margins. And if you recall, my bottom page margin is a half an inch from the edge of the paper. So this number five is below the half inch mark. And I've done these page numbers before with a half inch margin and I'm fine on that. But let's just say you had a 
page margin of a quarter of an inch. So the page margin would be down lower. And then if you put a page number below that um, quarter of an inch page margin, and then you know finished your book and uploaded it to KDP, they would probably kick it back with an error message saying that the page number is too close to the edge of the paper. So that's one thing you need to watch out for if you do have, if you do plan on having page numbers, is that you don't make them too close to the bottom edge of the paper. So that completes the page number tutorial, and I hope you have a great day or a great night, depending on when you're watching this.